Hello everyone and welcome back to Breaking Sports. Today we got something nice, um, a little bit different than what I've been doing. We've actually got a mail day. So we're going to talk about uh, open up the mail for our special deliveries here. And then talk about a little bit of what I've been doing lately as well with um, other stuff during the quarantine. So I've been running to Target and getting a lot of these hanger boxes. Going to do some um, daily videos with those that are going to be really cool and really fun. Um, working on getting some cards submitted for grading to uh, SGC, BGS, maybe even PSA, even though they're way behind on everything and just getting started back up. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with me. Um, let's just go ahead and get started here. You can see some, some of these guys send everything in a, a padded bubble mailer. Other ones, just a plain envelope. Um, really going to probably depend on the value of the cards or perceived value of the cards. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I remember picking this one up. So, um, got a Michael Jordan 2009 Goodwin Champions. It looks like they sent that in a semi rigid holder, and then they've got some, some kind of tearaway cards, Those little extras that they had. So, not really worried about those guys. But with the Save the Last Dance. Thought this was a really nice card, and if you can get it graded well, it's actually worth upwards of $100, $150. So I thought that it looked pretty nice. Corners look pretty good. It may be a little off center left to right, um, but still a really nice card. This is actually one that I had gotten previously. I think this one's in a little bit better condition. So this one might be a candidate for me to actually send in and get graded. Let me, down, let me know down in the comments below, what are you guys doing during the quarantine? Uh, it looks like a lot of people are spending about as much money as I am, as a lot of cards are going up and up in value, um, sometimes without much rhyme or reason. What is this one here? Okay, so we've got a Ken Griffey Jr. This is a PSA 8. It's his 1989 Fleer rookie card. Um, I think I got this guy for like... Eight dollars, seven, eight dollars on eBay. So I really am thinking King Griffey Jr. is going to be coming up in value, and I do not sleep on the eights. I think these eights have the potential to be worth um, two and a half, three, even four times as much as what they are now, which isn't really even that much. Think about it: eight dollars, four times that much, thirty-two dollars. Uh, but if you get quite a few of those, you could flip those and make a a good profit. Let's see some of these guys. It looks like they're reusing the mailers, which I do whenever I sell things as well. Just try to be a little more um, efficient with the money because these things are expensive. And then also it's not bad for the environment if you're worried about that. These are in there good. All right. Looks like we got another graded card. Let's see who it could be here. Yep, and it's another 89 Fleer King Griffey Jr. Add that in with our stack. We can see here, this is actually the newer PSA, not the newest, but newer PSA logo compared to this one. This is one of the old school ones. So you can see the differences there. Pick that one up for about $8 as well. I did have a separate mail video that I was going to post previously. I'll share the items that I got, but um, had my address front and center and everything. I thought that probably wasn't the best idea. Here we go. A Michael Jordan Upper Deck Foil Card Star Surge. Really liked the look of this card. It wasn't one of the... Um, more highly touted ones, one of the ones that everybody was going after, but it just had that visual appeal that I really liked. I'm definitely going in on, on Michael Jordan right now and maybe was not the best time. 
but he's just going to go up in value over time. We've got another PSA graded here, and it's a Michael Jordan 1989 Fleer. So it is um, kind of in that era that we would consider junk wax, but it's a Michael Jordan card, graded mint nine. These are really hard to grade. Um, just think about even getting new boxes and pulling these. The centering could be off. The corners could be damaged. I mean, this is a um, this is a 21 year old card. So, excuse me, a 30 year old card. So, definitely going to be hard to send those in and grade those. We've got two here. Michael Jordan, the GOAT. We've got a Topps Chrome in Fuego. Really cool design from the 90s. That's a... Um, 1996 Topps Chrome. So, funny enough, you know, the 96 Topps Chrome is the set that is just going crazy on the base cards. Um, here's an EX... 2000 Michael Jordan acetate card. One of those more kind of gimmicky things of the 90s that I actually like a lot. Um, just got that because I remember those cards from back in the day. But yeah, the 96-97 uh, Jordan tops chrome and the refractors especially are just astronomical in price. So I started going after some of the inserts. Got another PSA graded. This is gonna be another Michael Jordan, 1989 Fleer, Mint 9. Can compare these two. You can see one is the newer and one is the older PSA label. But both in a Mint 9, both a good investment. I'd like to know what you guys think down in the comments, um, you know, with this Last Dance documentary, when is the peak going to be of the Michael Jordan cards right now? Are we going to go through um, a couple more peaks and valleys? Are we at a new floor where things are kind of going to sit here and then just go up later? Let me know what you think. Yes, these are beautiful. Fleer Ultra Full Court Michael Jordan Foil Card. Just looks like it's in absolutely great condition, honestly. The corners look good. It's really hard to keep the corners good on these foil cards. Back looks great. Maybe a little bit of a ding or a chip there at the bottom, which you can see a lot more easily with the black borders there. But that's a nice card. And this one, I pulled the trigger on this one for over $200. Um, but it's just a nice looking card. Couldn't turn it down. Um, got it with the the other full court Michael Jordan and thought it was in pretty good shape. A little bit of damage around here on the edges, but the back's not going to matter nearly as much. Um, this may be something that I actually do send in to get graded, and I think it would look really nice with the um, red and white PSA label. Love it when the guys send things in the little mailers like this. Everybody sent the PSA sleeves on the PSA graded cards. So a lot better than sometimes, you know, you get like the scotch tape all over everything and you just get a mess. All right, here we go. We've got another Michael Jordan graded card. We've actually got two in the slot. Okay, I remember buying the slot. She got a really good deal on this. I wouldn't have bought this card separate. It's a 1989 Fleer sticker. It's graded a mint nine, but you can see OC listed there, so off center. Um, so that does 
detract from the value pretty significantly. So keep an eye on that if you're out looking for graded cards, especially these older ones. If they've got that OC, it means off-centered, and it is going to be significantly less valuable than the normal um, Mint 9. You can see the centering here on the back is just awful. I feel like the front is a little bit better, actually, even than the back. Um, but this was just kind of a bonus because I got a good price on this card, which is the 1990 Fleer. And I love the picture on this card. Absolutely beautiful with him just going up for that nasty slam dunk. Okay, got my last one for the evening. Tons more coming in the mail. Um, I don't even want to tell you how much money I've spent on sports cards in the last three, four weeks. It's been kind of ridiculous, but man, it's fun. And it's all with the mindset of investing. So that's why I've got these, these duplicates, you know, multiple Michael Jordans, um, uh, multiple 89 Fleer cards, multiple Ken Griffey Jr.'s because I do want to be able to keep a couple of things for my personal collection uh, and also not feel bad about, about selling some stuff. Here we go. And that's what we're talking about on the duplicates, right? Two more 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan PSA Mint 9s. Absolutely beautiful cards. These aren't sleeved up, as you can see, but there's no scratches on these cases. These cases are in great shape. They packaged them well. Um, if you're doing any selling online, make sure that you are doing a good job of packaging things up whenever you ship them. It's going to make a big difference for your buyers. Let me also show you a couple of things that I have gotten that were in that last mail video that I never released. We've got 1990 score, Bo Jackson. Uh, it's like the, the Bo Nose card. And you can get these guys for a steal. I mean, they were, I think I paid $3 for this. Had another one that got lost in the mail, unfortunately. I think I'm going to have to get a refund for that. Um, but if these grade out a PSA 10, they're going for $150 to $200. And I think they're only going to go up from there. Um, I almost don't even want to show this card. The, the 1996 Metal Universe Ken Griffey Jr. Um, as you know, the Metal Universe Jordans just went wild. Um, it's starting with baseball. It's not there yet. I think I paid $25 for this. Um, everybody has them listed for $50 to $100 now. So I think that price is only going to go up on these as well. Net Marvel Zion got this for $50. Um, love this card. Love the look of it. The comic book feel, you know, like 1980s comic book feel. Was also looking at some LeBron, but never pulled the trigger. Wish I had. So this card's going for 150 plus. The LeBron is going for 200 plus. So four times what I paid um, in a matter of literally three or four weeks. And one of my favorite Jordan cards. Don't even know if we can do it justice here on the video with the lighting, but absolutely beautiful rock stars tops rock stars insert michael jordan card um gorgeous card great seller that i had on this one as well i've actually got some um some other cool cards another really nice jordan and bryce harper coming from him so um something to think about you know whenever you have a good experience you're more than likely gonna um have that reputation and be able to go back to those people that sold and made you feel good. So remember that if you're a seller. Um, so gonna be working on getting some stuff graded. Probably we'll do some videos on that process. You see, I got my semi-rigid holders here. Um, also gonna be doing those Tops 2020 Series 1 hanger box breaks. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video for me so it starts showing up on the YouTube algorithm, um, and then hit that notification bell as well. That way, Whenever I release new content, which is going to start happening much more frequently, you're going to get notified and you're going to be able to be the first one to come in and see what am I buying? What am I opening? Because um, I really want to be here and also kind of have some open conversation with you as well in the comments. What do you think is going to be the next hot thing? That way we can work on jumping ahead of it. So thanks, guys. We'll see you real soon with some more content.